Welcome back to the Drew's Blues Kingdom! My kings and queens, I have truly, truly missed you guys so much. And I have to say, thank you. I have to say, thank you for all your support. One, materially, you guys helped me pick three items. One for my mom and two for me. You guys helped me pick the colors. You guys helped me pick the hardware. You guys helped me pick the sizes, all that. So materially, I wanna say thank you guys so much because three of these things I could not have if it was not for you guys. And I'm so happy because you guys have immaculate, impeccable taste and you guys picked out amazing things that I will always look and be like, wow, like my kings and queens are helping for this. Two, thank you for keeping me in your hearts. Thank you for the constant communication and, you know, looking out for me. And thank you for your patience because you guys know the past few months have been very traumatic for me. And I lost some very important people in my life very beautiful people and one of them recently being a cousin of mine who passed away a week ago um you guys i vented and share with you guys how i truly felt in the moment because i feel that mental health is very important and it is totally fine to not hold things in if there's anything you get from my kingdom and anything you get from my kings and queens, you guys know I've prayed for you guys. You guys have prayed for me. I've shared with you guys some little clips of from some DMs I've had with some people like Golden Golden Goddess who reached out to me and shared her story with me. And I, I've shared, you know, we both communicated with you guys sent out positive love and comments for Golden Goddess. This with you. Um but it means a lot to me and thank you. Thank you so much. And this is gonna be the last time I'm crying, okay? So thank you guys. You guys know I shout you guys out. My last video I did, I shouted out several people that are in my kingdom that deserve to be Instagram, social media, style influencers, style icons that have impeccable taste. I shouted them out with their Instagram pages. I don't feel like, oh, I don't wanna shout out people that dress better than me because they'll take down. No, because one thing I've learned, even being a celebrity wardrobe stylist, working with the biggest names and the biggest celebrities, the, the celebrity the celebrity stylist that got booked the job would turn to their assistant and their interns and be like, what do you think about this? Is this okay? Did it a final confirmation, a final seal of approval from their, you know, hirees or their lower counterparts or whatever it is. So you guys don't think that because you don't have an Instagram channel, I mean a, a YouTube channel or Instagram, whatever, that you guys are not influential because you guys are very much influential. I wish you guys could share that a lot more. But anyways um thank you guys for the well wishes thank you for your condolences thank you for the support i love you guys so much and we're gonna get to this so you guys we have five exotic we have the most rarest being a himalayan so I, you know those of you guys that have helped me pick up the himalayan those of you guys that helped me pick up the crocodile bags the crocodile birkins the crocodile kelly's uh, you know we have ostrich we have lizard. Again, like I say, trust no one that tells you about what is the best leather when they don't have all the leathers, girl. I have them all. I have cows. I have crocs. I have ostriches. I have lizards. I have crocodiles and alligators. I am proficient enough to tell my kings and queens and give you guys good leather advices on what type of bag you want for structure, what type of bag you want for longevity, what type of ba bag you want for casual slouchy, what type of bag you want for elegance, what type of gown, what type of bag do you want for evenings and all that. I could tell you about the rares, I could tell you about the wares, I could tell you about the protection. So you guys, let's go get on to it. And in this video, I have some Balmain things, or some Dior, and I also have Christian Louboutin that I bought at the first ever Christian Louboutin outlet. 
Yes, you guys. If you guys are in California, Christian Louboutin did open up a um, outlet at the Desert Hill Cabazon outlet on the way to Marengo, on the way to the Morongo Casino and Palm Springs. Okay, six hours in line and we barely made it here. My kings and queens of the Drew's Blues Kingdom. We're almost there. We're almost there, you guys. A lot of you guys have been to California. I've already told me that you guys have been to outlets, but I went to the Christian Louboutin outlet opening day. So I will show you guys what I got and tell you guys about my experience and how my subscriber helped me. One of my kings and queens from this very kingdom who I met through YouTube helped me get these shoes. <laughs> okay. So first off, what we're going to unbox is at the very bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so damn okay let me adjust this this pyramid right here there we go yes 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 we have the first item to unbox this one you guys i did not ask anyone for their help i didn't ask you guys to take a poll just because i've always wanted this bag because I need a green. Now I have every single color of the rainbow in my Birkin Hermes collection. I have red, well, I'm not gonna tell you things. I have every color of um, the rainbow and this is one that I needed to complete my color of the rainbow for my bags. So if you guys can guess, I wanna make sure. The barcode is here, so I'm not going to let y'all see it too quick. The barcode. <laughs> and those of you guys know, all these items came from my sales associate. I am so grateful for my sales associate because I was able to purchase five rare items. We're talking mini Kelly crocodile. We're talking Birkin 25 crocodile. We're talking Kelly's. We're talking Himalayans. All in one purchase for my amazing sales associate where this stuff would have cost me over half a million dollars if I were to buy it resale. And you guys know I will never, ever shop at the store. I will never support their terroristic bullying tactics and those crazy prices. You guys, those of you guys that know my sales associate, I'm so grateful for him and all of you guys that have purchased from him know how grateful we all are, honey, because he's made our dreams come true. Please watch my video about Teresa Romer and exposing some of her fakes, allegedly, in detail, clearly, um, and see what all my subscribers have gotten. Go watch my video where I expose Mel and Melbourne and her lying con artist ways, honey, and how she lied about some things um, about her partnership when she sent people to go buy fake stuff and they paid real money, thinking they're paying they're paying authentic prices for fake products. From what people have said, in my opinion, I believe it 100% to be true, and I give you guys that, and also I show where my um, subscribers have bought things from my essay. So you guys. Everything came from my essay. Everything was at such a low, low, stupid price. And I will only share the price on my Instagram. So those of you guys that are new, sorry, um, I'm not adding anyone until after the video because I have some very, very special, very, very special rare footage that I'm only sharing with people that have been loyal kings and queens. As in, you're gonna see some behind the scenes about these things with my essay that I'm not sharing with anyone else. So those of you guys that have followed my Instagram and have not unfollowed me and have been loyal, you guys are gonna see something very special. Those of you guys that have unfollowed me on Instagram, don't worry about trying to add me back because you are blocked. You are blocked, you can't come back, you can't watch my stuff. I don't, I don't need, I'm not thirsty like all these other influencers that just want as many numbers. I have, 4,000, almost 5,000 real kings and queens that support me. Not bot ones, not fake ones. 4,000 amazing, supportive, real people. I don't care how much the number is, because honey, it's the quality, not the quantity, okay? And I have quality kings and queens. So, 
Um, yes, over $500,000. So this is the first item. And you guys, I've always wanted this item. So let's get to it. Okay. <sighs> you guys, what I have here is, <laughs> is it a Birkin? Is it a Kelly? What size is it? You guys, I have a amazing Kelly 35 in Malachi! Ah! <laughs> you guys, I have this amazing, beautiful Kelly 35 in Malachi. wanted a bag with a strap and let me tell you Birkins get too damn heavy and I've always wanted a slouchy return Kelly and a Togo leather um just because I wanted to slouch I wanted to you know lose a shape oh let me take the air paper out guys let me take the air paper out so you know I wanted to slouch I wanted to be like flimsy I want to just hold it loose like this. I want it to have a briefcase vibe with the little wings, honey. Um, you know, I just really wanted a bag for casual because I bought so many exotics for formal and dressy that you just need an everyday slouchy basic bitch but popping bitch bag. So this color is in Malachite. is in a size 35. And if you guys can see, the cure code, if you guys notice, when you guys get your bags, especially when you get them from my essay, you can scan the QR code. take you to the Hermes website and if your items are legitimate or on a higher level you should definitely be able to do that like you can with all these items and those of you guys that have ordered from my sales associate and know my sales associate you know that most of these items are from the 2020 2019 2020 collection um and they all have a new hologram you should have a hologram um blind stamps on your boxes the inside stamp is a y so i think 2020 is a y stamp you guys 
Um, so yes, I love this baby. I love that it comes with the strap um, to put on her. Let's see. So yeah, she's just easily able to hang and just be cute. You know, put her over the shoulder, whatever, honey, with the strap. Green is a very good neutral. And I would highly recommend getting a Kelly 35 because the structure is going to be just like a Birkin. It is going to be, it's going to be heavier than a Birkin only because there's a metal bar going across the top here. trapezes they cave in like the saline trapeze they cave in right here because there is no support there is no inner lining structural support um to keep it you know horizontal um it is heavier holding it handheld but it is a lot lighter when you have the actual strap on you guys know it comes with the raincoat it comes with the care booklet and i do have my receipts you guys know you can go to any reseller third party purveyor second party purveyor whatever the shit is you can go to any of those places and you can find kelly's a lot cheaper or more expensive i got mine a lot a lot cheaper those of you guys know most of my subscribers know you guys could afford these um as long as you go to the right place and as long as they're you know they know how to find you what you want you guys, I'm so impressed with this price. You guys know the price is stupid, stupid low with my sales associate. You know, you can go anywhere, but honey, my sales associate is where it's at. Um, what also came with this is this. Now you guys know I absolutely hate these things, so I most likely will be giving this away, but let's see what it is. It is a Twilly, obviously. Huh. It has its receipt. It has its receipt for the Twilly here. And um, yeah, this was actually gifted to me. This was gifted to me with purchase. Um, so, you know, you can just wrap it. Wrap it. I just think it's so nice that he would um, gift this to me um with purchase because i mean no other no other store is gonna gift you free silk twillies um for spending you know money and you know so i was really happy with that so here it is the twilly to go on to my kelly 35 I personally hate all Twilies. I don't care what color they are. I hate Twilies. I think they're ugly. I think they're cheap. They make the bags look basic. You do not see celebrities. You do not see style icons wrapping Twilies around their bags. Um, that's just more of a basic bitch thing that people do to spend money to get their dream bags. Where for me, I don't have to have a history. And you guys know, with my sales associate, you don't have to have a crazy, ridiculous history spending tens of thousands of dollars on ugly things that, you know, damn well, you just told yourself, oh, this is gonna be cute. Then once you got it, when you put it at home and you put it with your clothes, it's like, this is so ugly, these stupid rodeos, these stupid things, whatever. Um, so yes, I didn't have to purchase this. It's actually given to me for free with purchase. Um, I would never ever uh, tell you guys to shop at the store and play those stupid ass games when you can get a Himalaya crocodile ostrich lizard bags without a store hitch, without a purchase history and get your dream bag in exactly what color. See, in this situation, I wasn't just, oh, you're offered this. No, no, no. I told them exactly palladium hardware, Kelly 35, Togo leather. That's exactly what I got. And I also got in this little baggie, one of the most rarest, rarest, rarest Rodeos ever, which is a so black Rodeo. I can't find it right now. I will look for it. So I finally found the Rodeo. I was look, have to look all over for it because I really didn't care about it. It really was just a waste to me. But this is the so black horsey San Marnes, the Rodeo that I got for free. 
Which you won't believe how much people is charging for these things used. And can you believe these ridiculous things are being sold for $3,300, close to $4,000 with tax included for a pre-owned one of these damn things. Are you, are you kidding me? This little thing? I also got this free with purchase um, to hang on um, my thing. So when I find a little rodeo, I will show it to you. This is supposedly the most rarest um, rodeo. And I was on the Beverly Hills, I was at the Beverly Hills Hermes Boutique and they said that they only seen two all black rodeos. Bitch, shut the fuck with that stupid ass shit. Black is the most easiest basic color to make. Why are you trying to make it seem like it's so hard to make black? Black is all the colors mixed into one and that makes black, bitch. Why are you trying to make it seem like this black horse is so fucking rare when it's the easiest thing to make? Every designer has a black bag, a black shoe, a black coat, a black everything. So cut that shit out. Um, what's also amazing that came in this package um, from my essay is another strap, you guys. I was so lucky because I had a strap. I have this strap that came from my sales, that came with this bag, but I felt it wasn't um, the size that I wanted. So I told him the measurements and I asked him if he could uh, find um, a strap in electric blue um, to match my Kelly. And now I have two straps, you guys. So my sales associate, and he actually gave me the strap for free. Um, he was able to find the strap, um, he figured out who had one, and I got this strap for free, which we got, we know that it would at least be $400 to get a whole new strap from Hermes. I think it's $1,000. Um, but yeah, you guys. So, that is the first part of this unboxing. You guys, we have so much more to go through. We have so many more items, but... To get the cheaper things out of the way, because honey, after this, it's nothing but exotics, baby. This is the only basic thing in this unboxing, okay? Um, I wanna do a part two. I mean, it's gonna be a five part video, so you guys stay tuned, like and subscribe, and also make sure you click the uh, notification button, the little bell, so you can see me unbox all these things. You don't wanna miss it, because I'm gonna go into detail of which ones my subscribers picked, why they picked it, why I also went with what my subscribers said and, and we came to this conclusion. Um, something that is a special order for my mother. Um, and you guys are gonna know the details and, and know why these leathers are most important. But I'm going to unbox some Louboutin that I got from the first Christian Louboutin outlet. And I'm also gonna box some Balmain and some um, Dior and some other things. So in a 1.5, because we're not going to the second part yet, <laughs> I'm gonna unbox these things. So you guys stick around, um, stay tuned. This video, every video should be coming out within like five days, like four, three to five days from each other. So stay tuned. So you guys enjoy. 